There comes a time in every Sigma's life when she sits down to take stock of her life. And the most disappointing thing about this process is that the results are always the same. After comparing herself and her achievements to those of her friends, especially those with whom she graduated college with, co-workers, and basically everyone she knows, she always manages to come last. She is always the loser, the one without a permanent job to show for. The one who until now hasn't found her true passion, that one thing she was put on earth to do. She is still that person always jumping from one job to the other, constantly shifting the goalpost. Basically, you are all over the place, with a thousand ideas to explore yet you don't know which one to target first, because all of them are interesting, and you can't bring yourself to choose. You look at yourself and say, what a loser I am. If only the people around you knew the kind of loser you were, they will stop thinking very highly of you. Will you watch this video to the end? If I told you, I have the answers to almost all of your worries and that you are not the only one with this problem. I was as confused and frustrated as you are before I found this solution that worked magic for me. Not every Sigma is like us. Barbara Scherr in her book, Refuse to Choose, calls us scanners. People with an intense curiosity to learn about numerous unrelated subjects. She says scanners are endlessly inquisitive and hopelessly interested in almost everything. We don't want to specialize in any of the things we love because that means giving up on the rest. We are jacks of all trades and masters of none, the basis on which our entire existence is built on. Not every sigma is a scanner just like not every introvert is a sigma. Now that we have established the fact that there is nothing wrong with having so many interests and that you were designed to be a renaissance woman, the only question left unanswered is how on earth was I able to achieve almost everything I ever wanted and dreamed of? And what is stopping you from doing the same? Here is why. Your fear of the following is the reason your life is a living hell as it was for me until I found a way. And immediately I did. Things started working well for me as they will for you, if you watch this video to the end. 1. The ultimate problem of choosing. Asking a scanner to choose one idea from her sea of ideas is like asking Superman to willingly torture himself with kryptonite. All of her ideas are equally interesting and equally important, which makes it very difficult for the Sigma to choose. Sometimes she is tempted to do all at once, which is impossible because she spreads herself too thin. As a result, she loses focus and is left in shambles. All she can hope for at this moment is to hopelessly wait for that miraculous sign to point her to the right project. If that doesn't happen, she starts asking herself funny questions like, why can I not be like other people who always know what they want to do from the onset? How can I be this intelligent and don't know what is good for me? Instead of trying hard to choose, I decided to order all of my ideas on a list. In that way, I did not have to choose. Instead, I created more room for new ideas and did a six years plan. Every idea sits in it position patiently waiting for its time. 2. Time Scarcity all of the Sigma's problems starts and ends with time. Your notion of time and time management is wrong. Time is not as scarce as you think. Time is abundant, but given the amount of ideas an average Sigma female scanner has, time becomes a major constraint every time she thinks of implementing them. Her first reaction is to try and implement all of the ideas at once, which is practically impossible, even for someone with multitasking abilities. This rush creates a frenzy which leaves the Sigma female in a total state of confusion and burnout with so many uncompleted projects. So much so that it becomes her trademark, starting and abandoning projects halfway through all the time. In my case, I realized I could only focus on one project at a time. Of the many projects I had, I selected the most pressing ones and ordered them in terms of those that I could easily earn a living from without stressing a lot and still have ample time to chase after my other interest. Teaching was the easiest for me. I teach three days a week, make YouTube videos on weekends, write movie scripts on Mondays, work on my pig project on Tuesdays and read for an hour every day. 
If you organize your projects according to how much time it takes to complete each one you will be amazed by the fact that some projects need only an hour a day, every day until completion. Some might be once a week, once a month or once a year like traveling. It all depends on you. But one thing that you should be rest assured with is that there is enough time and there is no need for the rush. 3. The Big Picture Fallacy This fallacy stems from the Sigma female's ability to see the big picture way before the idea is implemented. By envisaging the idea from start to finish, they have the tendency to amplify the basic requirements to start the project. For example, say she wants to start a YouTube channel. The tendency is that she will want to start with the best possible camera ever made, the best microphones, and the best of everything, which is way out of her budget. Instead of starting small and growing the project to the grandiosity it deserves, Sigma females begin from the big picture and start walking their way backwards, making the entire process more tedious and more complicated to achieve, which they either end up abandoning or taking so much time to kick start the project. They have the tendency to bury themselves in the paperwork, taking months and even years just to plan a project. Within that time, something else might come along and completely blow their minds away from the project. Before they know it, they are halfway through with another project. Then a new conflict ensues either to continue with the new one or go back and complete the previous one or do them both. This back and forth in thought sometimes demoralizes her from pursuing her golden ideas. The stronger the conflict, the stronger the desire to abandon, recalibrate, and bounce back usually with a completely different idea from the previous ones. 4. Fear of being criticized. Most Sigma females get stuck or keep jumping from one idea to the other because they fear criticisms. Criticism makes them feel the need to be as perfect and all-knowing as they have always been. They want to remain that sweet little girl who likes pleasing people. Because of this constant pressure from friends, family, and co-workers, you don't longer feel the need to do anything for yourself. All you wish you could do is to make others happy. Even though you are unhappy doing what other people think is good for you, deep down you know, it is a pure waste of your time. What I did was to ignore everyone, their expectations of me and focus on what made me happy. Besides, I had given them more than a fair share of my time and attention for the most part of my life. Now is my time to do something for myself and for myself alone. A little selfishness might go a long way to improve on your life and those of the people around you. If you are a scanner and want to learn more about yourself, I recommend that you read Refuse to Choose by Barbara Scher because the idea for this video was largely inspired by her books. Let me know if you have any worries in the comments section and I will make a video to address them. Please like and subscribe for more videos, and don't forget to watch the video on your screen.